Hi everybody, my name is Miss Lindsay and I'm one of the youth and teen librarians here at the Winnetka Northfield Public Library District. Welcome to Craft and Give Back. This is a monthly craft program that we do where we do some kind of DIY project together and then we donate what we make to a local philanthropy organization. We work with so many great organizations and this month we're actually going back to one we've worked with before. Uh, we're working with the Anti-Cruelty Society once again. They were so wonderful last time. They're a uh, shelter organization that does not close their doors to anybody. They'll take all animals in. That means dogs, cats, birds, rabbits, snakes, whatever animal needs medical care and then hopefully can be that adopted back out into the community. They also run a wonderful foster program. I know I adopted my kitty cat Madeline from there. Um, if you haven't heard about them, do check them out. In September, we made some dog toys for them, some dog tug toys using uh, t-shirts. If you didn't get a chance to participate in that, all you need are two t-shirts at home and the instructions are available on their website. This time, we're gonna make some cat toys. We're gonna make sure that the cats have something to play with to keep them active and their brains moving. Uh, and we are gonna be doing this using the contents of your kit. So in your kit, you should find some corks, uh, some pipe cleaners, mine are pre-curled up and I'll explain that in a bit, some feathers, and some paper clips. And you can use any paper clips. Mine are a little bit flimsy, so if you have thicker and stronger ones at home, you may wanna use them, because we're gonna be using these to actually hollow out the cork a little bit. So that's the first step. And this one is for the grown-ups in the group, or maybe some of the teens. We wanna hollow out our cork. So you wanna center, first of all, unfold your paper clip, center it on the edge of the cork, and go ahead and use some muscle to dig it in there about half an inch or so. It will take a little bit of work and prying, to really get it in there. You can wiggle it to find a good natural spot. And you wanna get it in there about 3 eighths to half of an inch. That's about how deep we want of a hole so our, uh, our accoutrements are a little bit more secure. So it might take a little bit of working. So I'll show you the one that I did earlier. Once it goes all the way in, it should look kind of like, if I can get it in the right angle, there we go, kinda of like that. And then when you're done, pull that out. You've got a cork ready to go. You'll wanna do this with all of your corks. Now you have the option of making either a uh, pipe cleaner or a feather toy, or you can make both. There should be two corks in your kit. Um, so what you'll wanna do is take your cork, if you wanna make a feather toy, take the sharper kind of stick end of the feather, go ahead and secure that in there as far as you can. Make sure it's nice and secure that if you tug on it lightly, it doesn't come out. Um, if it tugs lightly and comes out, you might wanna go a little bit deeper um, or try the other side of the cork if the hole is kind of too wide. But it should look like that, and that's a nice little cork toy. Now cats can roll this around, bat at the feathers, chase after it. Uh, it's a really simple yet really effective toy to keep them engaged and exercised. Now if you want to make a pipe cleaner toy, that's where the coil comes in. You'll want to find something to coil your pipe cleaner around. This is a wider coil. I used my index finger for this one and then kind of loosened it up a bit. And you'll want to make sure you have a little bit of a tail at the end to kind of uh, stick into the, there we go, to stick into the cork. Uh, this is a narrower coil. I run this around a pencil. So whatever you'd like to use, totally fine. So long as we've got a coil and we've got one end we can stick in there and the other end is kind of tucked in so it doesn't hurt any, any animals. And then for that, same deal as with the feather. You'll go ahead, you'll take the very end, you'll make sure it goes in there and that when you tug on it, it doesn't come out very easily. And if you straighten this out here, voila, we have a cork toy that cats can bat around with. The, uh, the kind of springiness of the, of the pipe cleaner is really fun for them to play with and it'll make it roll around on the ground very easily. So our goal is to collect these and donate them to the Anti-Cruelty Society, much like we've done with all of our past Craft and Give Backs. So if you would like to donate your items, please get, bring them to the Winnetka Library. Go ahead and call us at curbside and let us know that you're there to drop off uh, some of the materials for Craft and Give Back. Uh, we cannot accept returns as you are doing this. We can only accept your Craft and Give Back items. And uh, the person on the phone will instruct you exactly how to uh, work with them so we can collect items safely. Uh, thank you in advance for donating these items and for working hard with your family to make them. Have a wonderful holiday season, and we'll see you in January with another Craft and Give Back.